Paul George is the 76er. Prince, how badly did the Clippers mess this whole free agency up? They messed it up real bad, man. Look, I don't understand the need to have Kawhi Leonard if you aren't bringing Paul George back. When you brought them in, that was a package deal with the two of them. You bring those two guys in together to win you a championship. Now, they haven't done it so far, and I probably wouldn't have moved forward with that duo either, but if I'm parting with one, I'm parting with both. You know what I mean? I'm starting over completely. They decided to bring one back and not bring back the other one. You didn't win a championship with two of them. What are you going to do with one of them? Like, I don't understand what they're doing right now. It's, and they kept the one that can't stay healthy in the playoffs. So, you know, at this point, I don't even think they're a playoff team, if I'm being completely honest. And if they do get into the playoffs, they probably won't have Kawhi Leonard. It'll just be James Harden out there jacking threes. And we've seen that before. Yeah, I, I was going to say, I, I guess they feel like the combination of Kawhi and James Harden is is good enough to to get them to the to the same spot that they've basically been over the last couple of years, which is a, a first round out, really. Like, it, it, it just honestly is, is kind of baffling to me that not only did they let Paul George go, but they also let Paul George go for nothing. They had deals on the table, specifically one with the Warriors that I thought was actually pretty competitive. And they could have gotten, you know, pieces of the Warriors starting lineup, maybe even a Jonathan Kaminga out of that. But but now here they are with absolutely nothing after they traded away everything to get this man back in 2019. Like, I don't know what the Clippers are thinking. I don't know if they think, you know, Derek Jones Jr. is going to come in here and 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 be <laughs> be that guy or whatever or whatever they think. But I, I feel like it's wrong. I, I don't know, man. The Clippers are wild. Do you, do you feel like they they still have a, a chance to compete at all? Because I'm not, I'm I'm just not there with them right now. Yeah, absolutely not. Even if they do make the playoffs, they're not more than like a first round winning team. Unless Kawhi Leonard is perfectly healthy, which we haven't seen in years going into the playoffs, that kind of changes the math a little bit because I still think that guy is that good when he's at his peak. Like Kawhi Leonard to me is a top five player when he's healthy. But we just haven't seen that in years. That's not something we can count on, and I'm not counting on that. Therefore, I don't think they're much more than a first-round exit if they do make the playoffs, and I don't even expect them to go that far. Yeah, I don't trust James Harden, so I'll just leave it at that. Yeah. (laughs) 